Hi and welcome to another episode of Essential Lightroom. Now unless you've been living under a rock for the last week, you can't help but notice the fact that Adobe has just released two new versions of Lightroom. We've got Lightroom CC, which is the cloud-based version of Lightroom, so it's a kind of stripped-down version of Lightroom with most of the tools, but without a lot of the organizational facilities that we have inside the normal desktop version. And we've now got Lightroom Classic or Lightroom CC Classic, which is the more traditional desktop version. Now, there's an abundance of videos already out showing you the comparisons of the new features and all these different things between the two versions and the new update. I'm not going to take you down that route because it's already been covered to death. What I am going to show you in this video is how we can use the new Lightroom CC cloud-based app and how we can work with presets. So we're going to take a look at how we can create presets, load previously created presets in from the ordinary desktop version of Lightroom and how we can just generally start to work with presets in this new cloud-based version. So let's jump over into Lightroom CC and take a look at how we can do all of that right now. Okay, so I've got Lightroom CC open and we're already in the sort of catalog module. So you can see I've got a range of images open. Now, if you haven't seen the Lightroom CC update, the new cloud version, it's going to look sort of familiar, but also a little bit different. The whole point of this is the fact that everything you do is synced up across all of your devices, whether that's the desktop kind of version of Lightroom CC on your mobile or your tablet. So you have access to the images and the edits and so on that you make on any of those devices throughout your uniform catalog. So that side of it is pretty cool. However, when it comes to the software itself, there are a few key features missing. The most important one, in my opinion, is the tone curve. For some reason, we don't actually have the tone curve available in this iteration of Lightroom CC. Now, it is available on the mobile version, but for some reason, the desktop version doesn't have it, not yet. But apparently, the functionality is built into this, just not the tools to utilize it. So we can kind of have a bit of a workaround by using some previously created presets that are part of the original Lightroom desktop version. So let's take a look at how presets are kind of set up in this Lightroom CC. So what we're going to do, let's just open an image up so we've got something to work with. So let's just choose this one. Hit D on the keyboard to take us into the develop or the detail module as it's now called. And as you can see, the interface is kind of familiar but also a little different to what we're used to if we look on the right hand side you can see we've got a series of icons and clicking on any of these will open up the sort of modules that are available under that so you can see this first module is where we've got the sort of basics and the sort of color effects and so on so this is kind of like your main strip on the right hand side where all the different key modules are and like i say you'll notice that the tone curve isn't in there however most of the other tools are in there if you take a look on the left hand side, you can see we've got add photos. So we've got the my photo section, which is kind of where we've got our cataloging facilities, not really to the same kind of level as we have with a desktop version, but we do have some basic functionality. So it should be good enough for most uses if you want to sync this across your devices. If we take a look down the bottom, you can see on the bottom right hand side, we've got the options to fit and fill and one to one and so on and how we can compare before and after. We've got the film strip at the bottom, some simple rating tools. At the top, we've got the search option. And the top right-hand corner, we've got the option to take a look at our cloud storage and if it's everything synced up and what we're syncing it over and so on. And we've also got the option to share images. So the key functionality is there. We've also got tagging options so we can come in and apply keywords to this and information about the image itself where we can tag in things like the country and so on. So there's some quite cool features in there once you put the city or the state or the country. It'll start to pull up a map from Google. You can click and you can jump over to that. So that's pretty cool. However, like I say, it does have a few key features missing. Now, to work with presets is a little different with this. Let's just open up this first module. And if we take a look, you can see once we open that up, we've got presets available at the bottom. If we click on there, that'll now open up all the presets that are installed as part of this copy of Lightroom CC. So as default, you get color, creative, black and white, and components. And if you look on the mobile dip version of this, you'll see the same tools and the same presets and everything are available in that. But you can also see the teal and orange toolkit power pack has been installed. If I expand that out, you can see there's all the options that I've created as part of this commercial preset pack. If you're interested in this, the link is in the description below, but you don't need that to follow along with this. This is just to show you how presets are used. So you can see that we get, instead of like we do it in Lightroom desktop version, we now get 
an immediate preview on the entire image. So that's pretty cool. Instead of the little sort of thumbnail we had in the top left hand corner, this gives us a full sort of screen resolution, tidy version of it. We can see immediately what's going to happen should we apply any of these presets. So you can also see, even though the tone curve isn't available, if I come down to something that's got a sort of crushed version, so a flat version, you can see it does flatten the tones out in there. So I can kind of believe that the information is available in the software underneath it, just not the tool integrated into Lightroom CC just yet. So hopefully in the next version, when they update this, we will have that tone curve brought back in. Because for most of us, it's quite a vital tool that we need to have access to. And stripping that out kind of limits what you can do with CC. CC, the Lightroom CC. Anyway, all we need to do if we want to apply any of these is we can simply come in and we can say we'll have, for example, the added warmth. We can click on that. If we open up these panels, you can see anything that's been changed. So, for example, the temperature and so on. All of those will be showing us exactly what's going on there. So we can access that. And if we open up the color panel, you can see the color tools are in there and anything that's been tweaked will be displayed in there as well. Like I say, some of those tools are missing not quite as sort of feature packed as the normal desktop version but we can use those presets so that's a good start now if we want to save a preset we can do that and if we want to load presets in we can do that as well so let's take a look at how we load the presets in and then we'll take a look at making some edits to this image and we'll take a look at saving that preset out so if we take a look at the top of the presets panel you can see we've got two icons we've got the three dots and we've got the x to close this panel down if we click on the three dots, we've got two simple options, create a preset or open the presets folder. So let's start off by clicking open the presets folder and that'll load in the default preset folder that's part of Lightroom CC. So if we click on that, you can see that locates that on my system and you can see I've got Lightroom presets and user presets. If I open up the user presets, you can see there's my teal and orange toolkit power pack is already in there. So all I need to do to install any kind of presets into this version of Lightroom is simply drag and drop the folder in. Now I've got some of my previously saved presets on my other screen. So what I'm going to do is drag and drop these in. So I'm going to just simply drag over the hipstagram presets and we're just going to copy that here. Let that transfer over. Once that's done, I can close this down. And what I need to do now is just restart Lightroom CC so we can see those loaded back in. So I'm going to restart. And once that's restarted, it should open the image back up for us. If we just come down to the presets panel, you can now see that my hipstagram preset pack is in there and I can click expand that out. And any of the options that were previously available for that, that preset pack is now in there. So if I just come up to a photo and I just say revert to original or use shift R to reset it, there's the original image. So I can simply come over and I can choose any of these from my presets and I can just click on there and you can see all the options now are tweaked to basically pull up that preset. So that's how easy it is to load in your preset packs. Now let's take a look at creating a preset and saving that as part of our own collection. So all we need to do is let's just make some tweaks to this. I'm not going to worry too much what I'm doing. I'm just literally going to make some really bad edits. And we'll say we like that, for example. All I need to do now is come to the little three dots, click on there, and say create preset. Now we get the option to name this preset. So we're going to call this sample preset and click save. And there you go. Now we can see we've got a user presets folder all cre created for us. We can click and open that up and there's our sample preset. So let's go and reset everything. So we just go back to photo, revert to original, and then come back to our sample preset, click, and you can see everything now is applied. So very easy to work with. You don't get necessarily to get the same amount of organizational tools as you do inside Lightroom CC, the desktop version, but you still have that functionality available to you. And like I say, the benefit of this is that it syncs up and is transferable over into all of your mobile devices so you can carry on editing any of these images. Well, like I say, I just wanted to show you how we can create presets, how we can load presets in, and how we can kind of use presets in the new cloud-based version of Lightroom CC. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please hit the like button and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. Until next time, take care.